Hello everyone, this is Daily Math with an algebra problem. We have a floor equation here. So the floor function returns the greatest integer smaller or equal to the input. If the x is 3.4, the floor function of it is 3. And if it's an integer like 3, the floor function returns itself. And for the negative numbers um, like negative 3 is also negative 3 and this part is kind of tricky for the negative 3.4 as an example the floor function returns negative 4 because that's the greatest integer before the negative 3.4 okay now we need to express this term floor of negative x in a way that we can work with it to solve this equation so if x is an integer the floor of negative x is just negative x because negative x is also an integer. And if x is a non-integer, this one needs a bit of reasoning. So we know that, as the definition says, x is greater than floor of x, and it's smaller than floor of x plus 1. Now we multiply all sides of this inequality by negative 1. So here we have negative x, this is negative floor of x, this is negative floor of x minus 1, and the direction of the inequality changes like this. Now negative x is between two consecutive integers and this is the greatest integer before negative x. So floor of negative x is negative floor of x minus 1. Now let's solve the equation for two cases. First if the x is an integer floor of x is x floor of negative x is negative x and that's equal to negative x minus 1 half to the power of 2. So these two cancel out, that means this is equal to 0, that means x is equal to 1 half. But is that acceptable? Nope, it's not, because x needs to be an integer in this case. Alright, now for the second case, where x is a non-integer, write that floor of x, and we know that floor of negative x is negative floor of x minus 1, and the right side is negative x minus 1 half to the power of 2. Now these two terms cancel out. On the left side we have negative 1. Right side stays the same. x minus 1 half to the power of 2 is 1. x minus 1 half could be 1 or negative 1. This is the first answer. x is 3 halves. And this is the second one. x is negative 1 half. Both of them are acceptable because they're not integers. Now this is the end of this video, see you guys in the next one, until then take care, goodbye.